Hi, welcome to my video on the chain roll. This is a new unit. I'm doing the derivative using the chain roll. And this first video is an introduction, and we're going to say introduction number one. The chain rule is the derivative of a composite of composite functions, and we'll see that as we do more videos of what happens. So a little trick that we use is dy dx is the derivative of y in terms of x, but if we let uh, dy du times du dx, that still gives us, by cross multiplication, uh, dy dx, because the du's cancel out. But this is the derivative of y in terms of u. This is the derivative of u in terms of x. So, in previous videos uh, on derivatives, we did the derivative of y in terms of x, but notice that we have a 4x minus 1. So let's look at y equals x to the 7. Notice that there's an x here. So if you did dy dx the derivative of y, we would get 7x to the 6 because there's just an x variable here. But now we have 4x minus 1. So let's look at how we're going to handle this. Let's let u equal 4x minus 1. That's this binomial inside here. So you're replacing x with 4x minus 1. So let's let u equal 4x minus 1. So now that we have that done, we have y equals u to the 7. So because we now we do the derivative of y in terms of u, so when we do du, d du in terms of y, we're going to do the derivative of y in terms of u. So, the derivative, so now we have a way that I handle it, is I do dy du times d dy on the y. So what I did, I changed d du to dy du and d over dy, so the dy's cancels out. Doing the derivative of y in terms of u. So there's a little trick that I do. So what happens, this is dy du, and the, oh, that's a u there, sorry. So the derivative of y in terms of y is one, it's like, Doing the derivative of x is linear, so the power is 1, so we get just a 1. So d, d du on u to the 7 is 7u to the 6, as if it was an x. So that's dy du equals 7u to the 6. Now, let's look at, what about if we look at u equals 4x minus 1. So we said u equals 4x minus 1. Notice we have u and x. u is a function of x. So if we do the derivative of d dx, so this is the derivative of u in terms of x. So derivative in terms of x on the 4x minus 1. Oop, we already got 1. Bracket didn't need that one. So we break uh, d dx up into du dx times u du on the u. So we're doing it. So I broke d dx up into this product of these two uh, derivatives. And so just write this right side down again and so this is du dx 
D, D, U, and the U, again, is like an X. That's a 1. That's a linear. And the derivative of this binomial in terms of X, derivative of 4X is 4. The derivative of a constant is 0. So that means that D, U, D, X times 1 is D, U, D, X equals 4. So let's go back and look at the derivative. D, Y, D, X is made up of dy du times du dx. So when we look at dy du, dy du is 7u to the 6. du dx is a 4. So we multiply those two, we get a 28u to the 6. And that's 28, and u is 4x minus 1. 4x minus 1 to the 6. So this is the chain rule, because when we do the derivative of y, we have an inside um, function in here that we have to take care of. So this is the seventh power of this function. We have to do the derivative in terms of power, but we also have to do the derivative of 4x minus 1. We're just getting started, just introducing, using the chain rule. Now we, let's look at the chain rule again as a derivative of a constant function. And again, dy dx is, dy dx is made up of dy du, du dx. So when you cross multiply, you, these cancel out. So you get, and that cross multiply, but these cancel out and you get dy over dx. You don't cross multiply, as I said. You just can't, these cancel out proportion. So what about here? So now we have y cos, let's look at previous to this. Before this, we could not do this one, y the derivative of y equals cos x cubed. We looked at y equals cos x. So the derivative of y is dy dx. And the derivative of cos was negative sine x. That's because we have not just an x here. But now we have an x cubed. So here the cube, the x is being cubed, not the cos. So this is a composite function where x cubed is going into the place of x. So let's look at it. So we let u equal x cubed. So we have u equals x cubed. So d du in terms of uh, we have x cubed. So we got y equals cos u. So we replace x cubed with a u. So we're going to do, this is the derivative of y in terms of u. So d du on the y equals d du on cos u. So du, d du becomes dy du d dy times y. So again, I'm breaking d du into the product of these two. And just continue here now. So I'm explaining how this is working out right here. So changing d over du to dy over du and d, oh, du. Oh, better be careful. This is not a u. This is when I cancel out the dy's, I get d over du. So I've got to be careful. So this is, I want d dy in terms of y. So that's dy du, derivative d, d dy in terms of y is a 1. Again, it's similar to doing d dx with an x, just a 1. So the derivative d du on cos u. So the derivative of cos is negative sine u. 
So that's dy du equals negative sine u. Now, we also have, let's look at u equals x squared. We said let u equal, sorry, let u equal x cubed. If u equals x cubed, then this is u in terms of x, so u is a function of x. So let's do d dx under u. Let's do the derivative in terms of x. But d dx change to du dx d du times u and again notice that the du's can uh, cross out and I get d over when I say cross out it's just it's not like a cross multiplication and and then you, you can I guess you can cross these out and say as d like multiplying two fractions and now there's, there's no equal sign here, so you get d over dx. So that's du dx du d du on the u is a one, and the derivative of x d dx on x cubed is three x squared. So that's du dx times one is du dx three x squared. So we started out by saying dy dx derivative was dy, right here I'm writing this down, dy du times du dx. And again, as you can see, uh, the du's cancel out, and we, as you're multiplying two fractions, you get dy over dx. dy over dx of this function is the dy dx became negative sine u du dx became 3x squared so you simplify that you get a negative 3x squared sine u and we had a u so we change u to u is x cubed So that's two examples. Again, I'll go back to the first one, call, call back the first one. We have a power here, so we did the power, and then we did the derivative of, of 4x minus 1. But here is not a power. The x cubed is inside. So the x cubed is going into this cos. So we do the derivative of cos first, then we do the derivative of x cubed. So more examples. Uh, this is the long way of showing you why the chain rule works, but we'll cut it down to a short way. And again, if you like my video, click the like button, click the subscribe button, visit my math website, www.mathfullyexplained.com to find more information about me, my videos, and the content. That's the content on my YouTube channel called Math Fully Explained. Thank you for viewing my video. Hope the video helped you. Bye-bye.